tell Tony it's a real money in the room. At what point did you meet the main music? Uh, we've been knowing each other since like fifth, sixth grade type shit. Did, did all the rappers kind of know each other before? Yeah, the, before the we got on. Yeah, because, like I said, that so small, so everybody know everybody. I've been knowing every every last that from that who done got a name or got big, and you know what I'm saying. I know every rapper. Like if you from that. I gotta know you, you gotta know me. That's just how it is, cause it's so small. We all went to school together. If we right. from the same generation or era, or you went to school with my people, or I, I just, I seen your come up, you know what I'm saying? So, cause we there. Yeah. Were, were y'all making music, conglomerately? Like when, back then? Yeah, back then. I remember, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you just watch and pay attention, you can see, like, Young Boy was with G Money at one point. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He used to be Fredo in the studio with, with us, too. Yeah. Like, he used to, like, when I first met him, he was in the studio with Scotty. Scotty Kane, he used to be in the studio with him. He was about to sign with him. Now he was from whatever. New Orleans, though, huh? Scotty Kane? Uh uh. He from BR, too. I've been knowing him since I was, like, 13. I'm okay. telling you, like, like since I was on the porch, like, when yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? I've been knowing him. Shit, like, that. So small, bro, everybody know everybody. It's just the fame really fucked our shit up. When that started to get a spotlight, everybody wanted to be that nigga. So it was like we all fighting for it, like crabs in a bucket trying to climb to the top, pull each other down. Like, I can know this nigga, I know, I know this nigga, all this history or whatever. He do one thing that I, I, ain't, I ain't all the way agreeing with, so just tearing this man down just like that's how it just started to be like we were trying to tear each other down to reach the top type shit, for real like that's how it became like i say when we really got the spotlight when say cheese started posting baton rouge like one of the top cities did like of the year i don't remember what year it was probably like 2016 i think yeah, about 2016. the show like when baton rouge had that buzz buzz like everybody was just looking into it like that shit kind of my sit up, bro. That shit responsible for a lot of murders, a lot of shit. You know? well, 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 you can't say that that's when the spotlight started because you had Boosie, Kevin Nah, Bates. I'm talking about the new generation, like Bardis, the new wave. Like, them do. they been, you know what I'm saying? Okay. They've been, been, been on some other shit. I'm talking about, like, for the Say Cheese, like, the new generation, like, when they started posting. Like, when Boosie and them was coming up, they ain't have Say Cheese and none of that shit. Like, right. and they wouldn't. But say Cheese them wasn't really promoting that. They was promoting like the up and coming from Baton Rouge around that time right. of the they year. And they was like, artists. yeah, and they was like, this gonna be one of the biggest years for Baton Rouge, like as a city, like a whole, like our sound for the buzz. And like, you know what I'm saying? And they was right. Cause you got niggas who came up like from that time and really kept going up and keep going up. You know what I'm saying? So they was right. When did you see that impact of the blogs really just start to hit the mentality. You, you hear about it a lot with Chicago and academics, you know what I'm saying? And people kind of blame him a lot for putting that light, I guess, and you know, he was doing some other stuff too. But with Baton Rouge, like how, how was it, I guess, for y'all specifically? That's what I'm telling you, like when, when Say Cheese started chiming in and fucking with us and putting that spotlight on it, that's when it got bad. I ain't gonna blame Say Cheese though, it was asking for this kind of spotlight. Like you gotta think about it. This is a city where don't nobody make it out. Like nobody, for real. Like the, it was boosted, then it was really nothing. Like Gates had popped off after boosted, but it took Gates so long to get on. It took boosted so long. Like them niggas been been. You know, it took us, me and man. It took us so long to get just certified as an artist and so talented and got so much music put out. I just feel like you know. It, you got to just think, this is a city who we don't really get no shine, we don't really get too much. So when you put that on a nigga like that and put these cameras and this light on a nigga, it just going to go crazy and like beg for more and more attention. And that's what it became, like through the beef and shit. That's why I feel like a lot of shit started. Yeah. To be real, it all started behind that. It behind ain't no music. other reason. Yeah, yeah, it ain't no other reason, like, to me. Yeah, usually there's a female somewhere. Yeah, them hoes always play a big part, but... Hoes, another thing with attention. It was just all about the all the attention. I wanted all the hoes to be watching. Right. <laughs> right. I'm watching our campaign. So, all right, y'all, y'all think that bro, man, that I'm living like that mohawk. I'm I've been thugging before him. He 
So I know this about his background. I know this, and th and that's when the tearing down oh, came about. You know right. what I'm saying? We for the so. attention, for whoever watching. Right. For real. No, just so. At some point, you signed with Master P. You know what I'm saying? Um, how how was that? That was situation? before I. That's like really rewinding still, cause that was before I took off. I went with P. P. He was cool people, good businessman, and shit like that. But it wouldn't. It wasn't me. I couldn't like. I couldn't really brand with they brand like that. Like what you mean? The tank shit, the camouflage, oh, the no limit. No limit. Oh, you was me. with no limit. It wasn't like they wouldn't let you kind of do like. Nah, they wouldn't let me. It was stuff. no limit, and P still wanted to rap and be like he wanted to be relevant still and shit. Right. And I, I was feeling like it just wasn't the time for him no more. Like you know what I'm saying? I feel like he should just he push the young niggas that. in. Yeah. Kept it kicking, like, you know what I'm saying? But he probably looking at Birdman or some shit like that. And right, right. How Birdman Man, be, keep yeah. his way around. But Birdman always, he might pop his little shit on the intro and y'all let niggas take it away. <laughs> right. But I'm going to follow y'all niggas' wave. I'm right, going to follow right. y'all swag. Yeah, yeah. Nobody really gonna... looks at Birdman like a yeah. rapper. We still yeah, respect we him still... as a boss. You know right. what I'm saying? But Birdman, they like, man, y'all going to put this on. Y'all going to put on these Birdman shirts and this and that. Like, P was on some y'all gonna put this no limit shit on, camouflage, like he was still stuck in his way. So I was like, I'm looking at it like, ah, it's Master P, bro. Fuck it, I'ma do it. But I knew in my mind, like this ain't right. this ain't the vision I got for myself, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. And what I wanna do, what I want paint the, the picture I wanna paint to the people, like, nah, this ain't it. Uh, oh, how, how long did the P situation last? I was fucking with P for like two years, then I went Really a year. I was with him for a year. Then I went to jail. I did three years. I came home oh, okay. and I brought Maine with me out there and we tried to Oh, so Maine wasn't on first, it was you. Yeah, it was me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been been buzzing on some shit. I took Maine in on some shit and we got together and started like we came like took that shit to another level. You know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah, I was I was on with no limit. For a little while, did my jokes, came home, and I told Pete, like, bro, I ain't. Your jokes? Uh, like, the bid, my time, oh, okay. the three years. Oh, we, yeah. That's some shit we say in Louisiana. I know Joseph, that means you joking. Yeah, you joking, but Joseph can also mean, like, you, you laying, like, you going do time or right. some shit. Well, you know well, what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that shit, it's, it got two different. Joseph, you hear me? But, yeah, um, yeah, no, sure. so I came home and I told. P like I ain't coming back out there unless you bring Maine too. Like Maine gotta have a flight too, and y'all with him. And as soon as I brought Maine out there to P, he fell in love with him. He told him he remind him of Soldier Slim and shit. Mm -hmm. So that's where a lot of that came from too. With Maine, like oh I'ma tap into that Soldier Slim flow shit. But you know Soldier Slim always been like a legend of Louisiana. Period. Yeah, like we always so. right. Yeah, yeah man. What, what was it about Slim? He just the realest, bro. He like he really rapping everything. He living the way he get to. He gonna get to the raw. Then he ain't holding nothing back. Like at one point he diss P when he you know yeah, yeah. And all he ain't give a f right. you know what I'm saying. He was really standing on business. So like we just love that type of shit. Where we from? Like we right. don't respect nothing but like some gangster shit and murder. Right. Like we from? It could be rich and nigga be like man fuck that nigga. Nigga looking at the looking up to the killers. Like where I'm from, that's just how it is. Hey, real tone, it's some real money in the room.